Hello, my name is Jason Kostrina. Thank you for joining me here today. Thank you also to NASPA for putting this on. Thank you to my co-authors, to our student volunteers for their help on this project. Today I'll be presenting the effects of music timing on aerobic exercise experience. So without further ado, let's begin. So as you all know, we've been working to improve exercise and physical activity rates in this literature for quite some time. And as a field, we've tried to figure out what we can do to make exercise participation increase. So to that effect, a lot of research has focused on diverting attention away from the aversive stimuli that can come with working out, being sweaty, being sore, um, and then shifting your attention to something more pleasant, something like music, where, most, uh, where a lot of the research is focused on. And what we know is that music does seem to have an, a positive effect on diverting attention, which can result in lower RPEs and greater affect, which then can lead to increased participation rates. What the research hasn't explored so far is when that music should be applied. And in the present study, the thinking is if we can apply the music right as the attentional shift goes from, I am able to dissociate to now this exercise is painful and my mind is associating to my body. If we can redirect that attention back to music right at the time of need, we can get some sort of nice little boost effect where the music is still novel, where maybe there's an increased benefit of applying the music during exercise. So to test this, we had 43 participants, mostly male, mostly kinesiology students. Average age was 24, uh, which is a little higher than a lot of the other college age studies that have been done and also had a slightly higher percentage of Hispanic and Latinx participants. They completed the Balkan Wear treadmill test, uh, which is somewhere between a jog and a walk in terms of speed, while uh, the incline continually increases during the exercise. While they were exercising, they were asked about their attention, their RPE, and had their heart rate measured through a polar heart rate strap that they wore on their chest. They were assigned randomly to one of three conditions, either a no music condition, a music continuously, kind of in a traditional sense, and then a music presented at RPE 11. RPE 11 was chosen because it's right before we see most of those shifts in attention from, associate, from dissociative to associative. And so RPE 11 was chosen based off of the previous research on this topic. Um, similar to previous research, we used a self-selected uh, Spotify playlist that was controlled to be at least 120 beats per minute based off of previous research. And so participants were in one of those three music conditions while completing the Balkan Wear treadmill test. There were also some basic questions about affect. Um, we're not going to talk about those today because there weren't uh, significant findings there uh, to be reported in publication. And there were some manipulation checks um, and commitment checks along those lines, those checked out. So we're not gonna to spend too much time talking about those. So as we take a look at our results, we're gonna start with our basic heart rate results. So a couple things to kind of familiarize yourselves with our, with our graphs here. We have change in heart rate, RPE and attention eventually. And so these are changes from baseline. And then also because this was a task until exhaustion, uh, people dropped out at different times, so these were standardized to basically fifths. So we have a recording of when they hit exhaustion or when they stopped, and then we had uh, all of their time points divided into fifth, second fifths, third fifths, fourth fifths. So as you can see with heart rate, as time goes on, all three groups increase their heart rate, no differences between groups. When we take a look at attention in RPE, we see that attention, especially as they approach exhaustion, does significantly deviate from the other groups for continuous music and delayed music, separating itself from no music. So no music had the highest RPEs and also the most associative attention. So music was successful in assisting the dissociative attentional strategy and therefore reduced RPE. 
and that was significant at exhaustion for both RPE and attention, but not at the four fifths mark for attention, although it looks like there's some separation there. And these are standard air bars there. So in general, we found a nice replication of the music studies that have been done before, where music was successful at dissociating attention and reducing RPEs. However, there wasn't a separation between continuous music and the RPE 11 delayed music. Thank you.